Hi, welcome again to my kitchen. Today we're gonna make a beef giniling. So here are the ingredients that we have for the recipe. So we have three pounds of guan beef, two cups of the beef stock or beef broth, two cans of a quail eggs, a one fourth cup of the cooking wine. If you don't have cooking wine but you have your wine on your cabinet or liquor cabinet, you can use that as well. A bag of frozen peas and carrots, half of the whole onion, bay leaves, a can of tomato paste, one pound of bacon dice, two tablespoons of the Berendon bouillon beef base. All right, so that's what I'm using. Tablespoon of the pea sauce, a two tablespoon of soy sauce, three cloves of garlic dice. Now we have salt and ground pepper to taste. All right, so what we do first is render the bacon. And then of course we have also three large potatoes. All right, so let's render our bacon. While we're waiting for the bacon, let me just prep my potato. So originally this recipe is just ground beef, um, the, the quail egg and the carrots and the pe frozen peas, and then tomato sauce, but I replaced the tomato sauce to tomato paste. And then if you don't want to make the beef, you can replace it to pork or chicken or turkey. It's up to you what you prepare on your, on your own. What we have to do is we're just gonna dice the potato. So make sure you soak the potato in the water, that's to uh, avoid browning. So you guys must be wondering where I'm putting bacon. Remember bacon, it goes to everything. And the bacon is give you that smoky flavor, which I do really like it. But you can always omit the bacon if you don't want to. Oh, let's check our bacon. Mmm, look at that. Okay. All right, so bacon is ready if you look at it. So I just, what I, what I did is I just Push the bacon on the side. Then I'll put the, the beef. So I'm using the, the bacon fats. Okay, I'm not putting any oil. So probably I just wanna cook my beef about five minutes till it get brown. Now we'll put the rest of the ingredients. All right, so after five minutes, this is how it looks like, our ground beef. So you must be guys thinking, what is giniling? Giniling means ground in Tagalog. All right, so this is gonna be good. You can serve this um, with rice, you know, Filipino love rice, rice is life. All right, so now we can go put our onion. So this is half of the whole onion. Dice, put there. I just wanna um, saute the onion till the color is translucent. So about one or two minutes. God, it's so good. That bacon is really giving you that good smoke flavor and it's gonna bring you that, that taste of the dish. Promise. Mm, so good. All right, so after two minutes, I can put my garlic. 
Just gonna saute it for one minute because I don't want to burn the garlic. You know, when the garlic's burnt, it's gonna give you that bitterness taste of the dish. So don't burn your garlic. I'm just gonna saute it for one minute. All right, so now we're gonna put our tomato paste. I'm using the whole can. This is, I do believe this is six ounces. And I'm just gonna cook the tomato paste for five minutes. So you know, this dish is similar to the pico de gallo. It's, you know, it's Spanish inspired as Filipino for so many dishes. So after five minutes, I wanna put my cooking wine and then cook the um, cooking wine for about five minutes again. And then again, if you guys don't have cooking wine or your regular wine and your liquid cabinet, it's fine. You can omit that. So we're just gonna cook out this for five minutes. So make sure to continuously stirring it so it won't burn on the bottom. All right, so after five minutes, we're gonna put our liquid seasoning. So I'm gonna put my two cups of the beef stock or broth, two tablespoons soy sauce, one tablespoon fish sauce. If you guys don't want fish sauce, again, it's an option. Just omit this one. Tablespoon of that um, better than bouillon. Three bay leaves, ground black pepper, I'm not gonna put salt yet. I'll do that at the end, to adjust the seasoning. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simmer this for 15 minutes. I'll just put the cover, 15 minutes. And I'm cooking this for high heat, um, medium high heat actually, it's medium high heat. All right, so it's been 15 minutes that this dish is simmering. So I forgot to mention, you know, once you cover this and Simmer for 15 minutes. Make sure to uh, stir every five minutes and lower it down to medium heat so it won't get burned. All right, so now we're gonna put our potatoes. And we're just gonna cook it for five minutes because they were like cut for small. So it's gonna cook fast. All right, let me just mix this and then cover it for five minutes. Mm, this is gonna be good. It's hot. All right, so it's been simmering or cooking for five minutes. So we have to check the potato, it's fully cooked. Ooh, look at that. We'll take the potato. See if the potato is cooked. Mmm. Five minutes. It's cooked. I wanna taste it. If I do, I have to adjust the seasoning or add more salt. Just gonna add a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. Then add more ground black pepper. And mix it. And then we can put our egg quail and our carrots and green peas this is already steamed so i'm just gonna cook it for like one minute just to uh warm it same thing as the egg because the egg is already fully cooked as well so, or you can buy this at the asian store they have different brands but this is what i have right now so this is what i'm using so what i did i uh drain and wash the egg Okay, let's put this, right, and then mix it. Don't over um, mix because you don't want your egg to break down. So we're just gonna warm this for one minute or two minutes because as I said, the egg is already fully cooked, even at the carrots and the green peas. Just gonna cover this again. 
Just warm it up for one minute to two minutes. All right, okay. so it's been two minutes. We'll see. Let's check it. Oh my God. Look at that. That's oh no. This is um, good to serve with rice. You can do it also for mashed potato, right? So potatoes on top of potatoes. <laughs> or you can do also baked potatoes. See? You can serve this to a lot of things. You can use your uh, tortilla if you don't want to eat rice or the potatoes. All right, look at that. Okay. All right, let's plate this. You know, this is good for potluck, a uh, family dinner. They're easy to make. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna eat a lot of rice. All right, there you go. Our beef guineling. All right, the moment of truth, the final taste. Let's taste it. Oh my God, I love egg. Mmm, it's so good. It's so good. That bacon is really bring out that flavor. It's so good. Thank you everyone for watching my video again. Hope you guys like this recipe. Let me know if you guys make them. And this t-shirt, if you guys notice, I've been wearing them. Um, this is available on my merchandise website. Uh, our website will be in the comment section, so feel free to check out. We have a lot of design that available to purchase. Don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. Make sure to click the notification. So once I have a new video, it notifies you right away. Right? Mahalo. Marami salamat. Agiyamarak. Thank you. See you guys again next time. Bye.